Thoughts on riding a real bike instead of a Peloton? Hey, thoughts on um, respecting stop signs instead of expecting other vehicles to respect them, but you just get to go through them because my, my vehicle's powered by my legs. I can't come to a full stop because then I have to use a bunch of effort. I have to use three kilocalories to, to push my vehicle to get started again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I have to ride on the sidewalk. I have to make myself a danger to, to the pedestrians because otherwise the cars would be dangerous to me. Thoughts on that, you sussy baka? Josh just gave me a plus four. And he lives in the purplest state in the union, which means his opinion represents the opinions of the entire country. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. I'm not... Look, people are saying, oh, you're so pro-car. No, I'm just... Stop... Be, why gatekeep exercise? Get a life. Like, they didn't say, you know, instead of riding your Peloton, why don't you, like, you know, ride a car? They said, instead of riding your Peloton, why don't you ride a real bike? Well, I don't know. You know, I like being able to ride it inside. I like being able to ride it at 7 a.m. and not get hit by a car or have to worry about pedestrians. I like to be able to um, push to my limit on this rather than uh, hook up the damn Strava and try to get the, the top strive score on a public road where people are mostly just trying to get to work or like not get clipped by an Uber Eats driver on an electric scooter while they walk to the office. I don't know, maybe because I can work out in like $20 shorts and a, a, a workout t-shirt instead of putting on Lance Armstrong's USPS skin tight gear. Maybe because I don't have to wear a helmet, especially a helmet that looks like, that looks like this. I'm not that mad about cyclists. I got nothing, no problem with the cyclists. Occasionally the road cyclists, I do get a little annoyed with. But that's mostly because I, like, li listen, okay? I come to a stop sign in my car. If another car is coming to the stop sign, this is literally, this is 99% of driver cyclist rage, okay? I, if I'm at the stop sign first and a car is coming, I can look at their wheels and know whether they're going to stop. So then I, 95% of the time, they stop and I get to take my turn or I get to proceed through the intersection. With a cyclist, it's actually like 60-40, whether they're going to stop or whether they're going to keep going. And I don't mind letting them go. It's just that I wish that there was at least more predictability. Right now, the predictability is if like a normie with a messenger bag and a button-up shirt is riding their bike, then I know they're going to stop at a stop sign because they respect order. And if somebody that's dressed in full road cyclist gear with a bike that weighs two grams is coming up to a stop sign, I know they're not going to stop because they think they're more important. So that's, it, it just makes it a little bit more complicated on the road. It makes it more unpredictable. And the more unpredictable it is, the more dangerous it is, and then when if you ever say like, oh, sometimes the cyclists are annoying, they go, well, at least my bike uh, only breaks pedestrians' arms when I go on the sidewalk instead of me getting killed by a, a GMC Suburban. And I'm like, that's true, but why don't you just respect the order of the road? And then everybody would have the best chance possible to get where they're going in the safest way. I just, I, as, I mean, I don't know, you probably wouldn't count me as a cyclist because apparently my bike has a flywheel instead of two tires. It's only real biking if during the winter you take your bike and then you put it on like a roller and then hook up an aftermarketwish.com power meter to it, okay? Regardless, I don't think it's fair that cyclists get to do whatever they want and then they get to pull the yeah, but my vehicle doesn't kill people card. Yeah, but like, it's just, you can still be an asshole when you're walking, too. You're not going to collide with someone and probably cause, like, a lethal collision because you're looking at your phone and zigzagging. But you should respect that you should maintain, like, a consistent through line and try to make space for people and not block entrances and exits to buildings and, and so on and so forth. B plus, like, don't take this the wrong way. Everybody here except Skylar, who is actually here. Sorry, I had to do the at. I crush you in wattage. I'm just saying, okay? Maybe you crush me in, in endurance. It's possible. I'm th I think I'm beating you in wattage. Because the time that you're zipping up and, and sucking the gut in to get into the Lycra, I'm already halfway through my warm-up, okay? I'm at 343 watts for 25 minutes. Okay, you would beat me. That's a lot. But I, wanna, I want you to recalibrate your bike. Stationary bikes are the worst part of biking without any of the enjoyment. Well, I enjoy it, and I'm the one with the bike, so shut up. Wait, wait why are you... People will be like, it's fucked up how divided we are as a society. By the way, I have extreme opinions about stationary biking. Get a life. <laughs> what an insane take. <laughs>
Did, did Dennis Miller, as a federal judge, sentence you to ride a stationary bike? Well, then, okay, then why do you care? Don't buy one, don't ride one. Chill out. Oh, I just think, I don't think cosmic brownies should exist. Are you forced to eat them? Just let other people, some people just want 400 calories of fructose when they go to a gas station, okay? It's not, it's not going to affect your life, just relax. We're not, this is, one of the things that's so annoying about the internet right now is... We, we went from, like, people having extreme opinions on important things to now people have extreme opinions on everything. It's madness. People are like, oh, I, you crack open a can of sparkling water. The sparkling water industry is a scourge. Oh, I'm just enjoying a little fizzy, uh, fizzy drink. Doesn't have to, it's lit. The cans are, like, 63 cents each at the grocery store. It's not that big of a deal. Like, sure, you know, pollution and climate change, you, Corporate governance and politics and stuff like that. I understand the the extreme opinions on that, but so you'll just be eating a sandwich. People will be like, bread's not good for you. And you're like, okay, well, I'm not gonna you don't get to have any of my bread anyway. The bread's for me. You don't have to worry about it. You got you got nothing to sweat. Just get a life. <laughs> and then this is this is this the echo to the annoyance. Yeah. <clears throat> Fuck society for challenging preconceived, outdated worldviews and takes. Stationary bikes? This thing right here? What did it ever do to you? Did a stationary bike clip you on the sidewalk and make you drop your ice cap? I don't think so. It doesn't go anywhere. It stays in my office the whole time. I've been criticized for something. I guess I'll never do anything ever again. Real mature. Not, not juvenile in the slightest. My parents were killed by a stationary bike drive-by. It sounds like they were robbing my house. Because this thing, first off, it's not a drive-by. They were probably walking by and then just happened to be victims. But this thing's not going anywhere. So they were in my vicinity. There was a standby. <laughs> oh, come on. It was probably a climb-by. 50 to 60 cadence, 60 plus resistance out of the saddle where Gloria Estefan's conga plays. Sorry, I had to think of a Gloria Estefan song. By the way, you're absolutely right. I do need to correct myself. There's a little spoiler for the Sex in the City reboot here. I know a lot of people have been waiting until the whole series finishes in order to um, catch up on what happened to Carrie Bradshaw and her, her motley crew. So you've been warned. A stationary bike, specifically this stationary bike, did kill Mr. Big. It did kill Chris Noth. On the, on the first episode of the Sex and the City reboot. So, and you know what? I stayed away from it. I boycotted it for 48 hours as a result of that. I was so upset. But then I hopped back on. Because, I mean, come on. There's a, a new Kendall metal ride. I can't. I don't know how to quit you. What's the difference between a Peloton and a normal stationary bike? What's the difference between um, your question and a question nobody asked? Nothing. <laughs> somebody just asked it though yeah but somebody else i guess if somebody asks a question you can't really respond to any askers in the chat because there's a because there is an asker the the honest answer is that the bike itself is i don't know i'm going to assume nothing special but the content programming is special the reason i respond snarkily is because it's like honestly none of your business <laughs> i guess is the maybe that's not a a nice answer but like every time you're like, I had good exercise today, people are like, oh really? I'm here to criticize that you could have exercised in a more efficient manner. And I'm like, okay, well, how was your ride today? Oh, you are you were sitting down watching me play You Suck at Parking? And typing PogChamp in the chat? I mean, you're exercising your dopamine receptors, don't get me wrong. You're exercising your Pog muscles. Minus two, I'm just a sane guy trying to understand. Your luck, unexpected loading error when I went to your profile. I was about to see how sane you are. I was about to see how many comments you had about Jerome Powell raising the interest rate by 100 basis points at the next FOMC meeting. Go back to bullying cyclists in chat. Excuse me, it wasn't bullying. They came into my chat and said, why don't you give me your lunch money? And I said, because I could pick you up over my head and place you in a garbage bin. And then they said, oh, bullying, bullying. That's rude. They, they stepped to me with rudeness in the first place. Very true. They flashed a piece on the lanes and I took it from them and pulled the trigger till it went click. What do you think about the Peloton rower? I think the company is not good. They're like, I love the product, that chest. The company is in a world of hurt. I don't think, uh, if the rumors of it being like 3,500 American dollars are true, it's going nowhere, man. 
it, like that's just far too expensive. Because can't you get like a Concept Two for like a, a nine hundred bucks or something like that? Ryan, I'm sorry about the bike comment. All is forgiven. Have I used too many audits? Have I used my audit pass? Because every time I click to open a user's profile, it now says, sorry, there was an error. I wasn't asking you. I meant on like a technical level. I think I, I need to pay for Twitch Platinum so I can, get the, I can get unlimited audits monthly. I'm just, I'm trying to bring people together, you know? That's, the, that, that's why it was so disappointing for me, I guess. What do you mean a real bike? What, what makes something a real bike? That it actually moves? That it weighs less than a sheet of paper? that you can't uh, leave it in your storage locker because it represents 80% of your net worth. If someone broke into your building and stole it, you know, you, you would have to get a second job. Is that what makes something a real bike? I, you know what? Can we just bring everybody together and say that Peloton's a bike, a Schwinn is a bike, a Zwift is a bike, Lance Armstrong rides a bike, and we can all just hate on unicyclists instead? Who we not, look, I'm sure it's great exercise, but I, whenever I see a unicyclist out in vivo, I'm like, here's that attention you ordered. Oh, he's some 65-year-old guy with a waxed mustache that's juggling as he rides along Beach Avenue. He's, you know he's soaking up the attention. Shit drives me crazy. Also, his wattage is probably crazy. Too far, too far. Okay, sorry, sorry. I'm, I'd like to apologize. Here's that attention you ordered, says the Twitch streamer. Here's that attention you ordered, says the Twitch streamer, says the person in the Twitch chat. Here's that attention you ordered, said the Twitch streamer, said the person in the Twitch chat, said the streamer to the person in the Twitch chat. Here's that, have you ever had an attention you ordered that you wanted to do the Yuka you to you to Yuka Yuan, Yuan, Yuka you to you, do you so bad you could do anything? Also, I can't hate on cyclists as long as motorcycles are still somehow legal. Stale joke. What do you mean it's not a joke? They haven't outlawed them, so I'm still beating the damn drum. They don't have to outlaw motorcycles, okay? That's probably too far. But I do wish they would outlaw them after the sun goes down. This shit is so loud. Go ahead, type it. Go ahead, type it, type it. Type loud pipes save lives. I don't know what it is about motorcycles that... Maybe they're like, they're anti-solar powered. Are they powered by the moon? Can you only drive them when the sun is down? Are they allergic to vitamin D? That's still the sun? Okay, well, you know what, then, you know, it, it, you just keep your comments in your pocket. I suppose that's true, though. Sorry, I got an eyelash in my eye. You know how it is, I got an eyelash in my eye? Got an eyelash in my eye? What's your take on horses in the road? <laughs> I haven't seen that shit in a long time. When I used to live in the country, we get trapped behind, like, tractors and shit all the time. It'll drive you crazy. You get trapped behind a tractor, they always give you, like, the go-around. Then you like peer over and there's a car coming in the one oncoming lane. And you're like, thanks for trying to get me killed, dude. I really appreciate it. But I, I don't know. You, I mean, if you got to take your tractor to get repaired, what do you do? You got to go to the, you got to drive your tractor to the repairs shop, I guess. You're going to cry? I told you I have an eyelash in my eye, okay? 